Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic and I have a quick tutorial here on how to get light maps from Blender to Unreal Engine 4. In the first couple of releases of Unreal Engine 4, you had to create your own light maps uh, for your model. Now, I believe that most people did not know how to do this or how to create their own light maps, so it did cause a little bit of confusion and so they updated Unreal, and as far as I know, it does generate the light maps itself at the current moment. So, just to show you how the basics worked, um, this is a model we created. If you want to see how we created this model, check the link. Uh, the top left should be up now. Then, uh, then you'll just you can follow along uh, after you know how to create this. Great. So. Basically, how the light maps work, it always takes the second UV map. So if your model has more than one UV map, it always takes the second UV map to uh, as the light map UV map. That's what Unreal Engine 4 does. Now also, what you don't want to do with your um, model or your light maps is you don't want to overlap them. So just quickly to show you what I mean with this, this model that we created has got overlapping parts these the crate essentially on every side is the same so that's fine for the for the game model but for light maps that just won't work because when you're baking a light map and you want to bake a shadow for instance um, if it bakes a shadow from one light source and it bakes it onto let's say over here there's like one shadow that goes straight across there it will go across every side here as well so your lighting will just look completely wrong. How you want to do this in Blender is just create a second UV map here at the right and then highlight your model. We just activate the second UV map and then go light map pack. All the selected faces and just click OK. Then it's got, it will neatly pack a light map pack and you'll see there's no overlapping um, no overlapping parts to, to to the UV maps and that is essentially it we're quickly going to export this to Unreal Engine 4 just so you guys can see what it will look like so I'm just going to just put it over here so we'll call this uh, light map create 01 and I'm going to just click selected objects, geometries, it's going to be smoothing, will be edge detect. And I'm going to export that. Now I'm going to delete this UV map and keep the original as it was. And then I'm going to export this as lightnap crate number two. going to jump into Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to import the first light map uh, crate that we created. Uh, let's just see. You'll see here, here is the option generate light map UVs. So this is now the first crate which we already created our UVs for. So I'm going to deselect that and just click import. And if you open your model, this is what your model look like. And you just click here, toggle UV display. You'll see this is our original UV map. And if you go to UV channel number two, you'll see this is the light map pack. So that is the one that we created. Now, if we're going to import the second crate that we made without the light maps, and we're just going to let Unreal generate the light map UVs, and I open it, do the same thing. You'll see there's the first original one and check UVs and there's the second channel and that's Unreal's light map pack a little bit neatly, a uh, little bit more neatly set up than what mine was. I didn't add any margins in between my, my models here, but essentially this both these would do the same thing. Mine might just bleed over a shadow from one side to another because I didn't set it up properly. So that is how you create a light map 
uh, in Blender for uh, Unreal Engine 4. But essentially, it's not necessary anymore because they did the whole setup of it generating its own light map. So it's not really something you have to worry about. It's just for interest if you guys wanted to create it yourself. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more videos. And I thank all of you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.